if you don't know what to do, start. I do that. Jay actually, he kind of knows what to do in the sense that he can draw. And so he draws things out before, I, I, don't, I don't have that ability. I'm not a highly skilled carpenter. I've never really had training. I just started building a house and I, I learned as I went along. I, I think actually I am a little bit too far in that zone. You know, I, it might be better to sort of figure things out better ahead of time, but again, at the same time, you can just worry about it so much that you don't ever start. And I think Jay uses that element that he just starts. I built a lot of campers, I built some tree houses, cabins, and I've always felt a little intimidated by boats. Being a surfer, I understand the ocean, so I have an advantage in that way, but there are so many things I didn't know about it. And so just how do you start when you don't know anything? When we started this project, we went up to Jeff's house in Ojai with a stack of plywood and we just started piecing it together. And a lot of it was just in Jeff's head. He was playing with shapes and curves and shaping the thing, much like you shape a surfboard and very intuitively putting everything together. I've always been a big advocate of like, you just have to start, that's my big thing. And you know, I think a lot of people have ideas of things they wanna do and they're just scared to start. You want to learn something, the best way to learn is to work with the people that you really admire. So Jeff is like this certain type of person who's always trying to be better. He's never going to settle. He's going to really try to make things better and better and better. We, we look for adventures. If you push yourself to do something, you're always going to be glad that you do it. satisfaction and joy in that. I see boats, you know, as sort of a time machine where you can access parts of the coastline, you know, where there's no freeways, no parking lots, and really empty. The water's clear and there's giant kelp forests and for me that's that's what it was about is like accessing those places. They're, you know, 
inaccessible. 